Hello, my name is Elaine Gordon, and I'm a recent graduate from the Institute of Integrative Nutrition out of New York City, and I'm board certified as a health and nutritional coach and consultant. What I'm here to do today is show you how to make the most amazing gourmet vegan rice and bean burrito. The first thing you want to do is you want to soak your rice overnight, and um, I'm sure you'll use more than this. And these little containers are real handy to put them in if you're making a larger amount. And soak your rice, and then you're also going to soak your beans overnight, and I chose to use black beans. The rice I chose to use is really good. It's a brown rice medley, and you can get it from Trader Joe's. Very good. So the next thing you'll do is take your rice and you will go ahead and rinse it underneath the sink after you soaked it overnight. Rinse it really well and then you're going to put it in the pot when you're done. You'll do the same thing with the beans. Rinse the beans and then put it in the pot. Now what I think we're going to do is um, for your rice, I would suggest 50 to 55 minutes to cook it and you might want to set your timer. For your beans, I would say about an hour and a half to two hours to make sure they're at the right texture to eat, that you'll enjoy them. Okay, I think we're ready. And the wraps I decided to use are these Rudy's Spelt and Whole Spelt. I like them. They're very nutritious and they taste delicious. You might want to warm them in the oven first just to make them a little softer before you put them in your tin foil. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take your rice and you want to put your rice in the middle right here and just get enough rice so that you'll have plenty of rice inside your burrito. The next thing you want to do is take some black beans and put some black beans right on top. Gives it a nice little flavor and you can also put some spices and I like using this Bragg All Season Spice. It's very good. And then also the kelp is also good by Bragg's. So I'll use a little bit of this. It kind of has a, a salty taste. Um, salt and pepper are optional, but if you're gonna use salt, I like the Himalayan salt, which is somewhat pink. And the pepper, I put a little bit of pepper on there. And you might wanna decide to, if you want some vegetables in here, you can saute some of these poblano peppers or onions or tomatoes, and I would saute them in a skillet with some water and if you want to use a little olive oil, just put enough in for flavor. But mostly saute in water. It's so much better for your body and it limits the amount of oil. Then you will go ahead and put, I like to use this vegan cheese. It's mozzarella vegan cheese. It's very good. And you put it on the top and you just sprinkle it on. And then you'll go ahead and use this salsa sauce, which is also a favorite of mine that I like to get at Trader Joe's, and it's a uh, habanero with some lime. Very good. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna just roll it or wrap it, and then wrap it in the tin foil. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put it in the oven at 350 degrees, just enough time for the cheese to melt, about 10 minutes. And then you might want to go ahead and serve some tomato soup with it. It's the organic tomato and roasted red pepper soup, low sodium. And these chips go very well with it. It's the blue chips, the corn, the, yeah, the corn tortilla chips. And some people prefer rice crackers, so you can use those. And what I like to do is I like to put basil on top. But in the summertime, I use fresh basil, whole pieces, but in the winter, I dry it and I sprinkle a little bit on like this and just crumble it and put it on and that's your tomato soup. And then also the burrito, when it's done, it'll come out and the cheese will be melted and it'll be very delicious. Now you might also want to serve some water. Well, it's actually a little bit of coconut water here. We use a little bit of coconut water, maybe a third and a third of cranberry juice and also a third of this tea hava tea and what I like to do is throw some fruit in there to give it some flavor and then top it off with mint which is very delicious so this is a really great this is really a great vegan meal and uh, I think that you would enjoy it very much thank you